Nice car, huh, Jack? What are you talking about? How am I supposed to see anything through these windows? Hey, uh, that reminds me. Clean the windows before we open. You want these hands to do windows? These hands are the hands of a future brain surgeon. If you're going to be a surgeon, you got to get used to soap and water. Clean the windows. Okay, okay. Where's the ammonia? Ammonia? Did you say ammonia? That went out with Ivy League pants. Where you been? Okay. Then what do I use? Look, let's start at the beginning. This is a KFC store, right? Right. Now, we need customers. We get them and keep them by providing excellent food and a spotless eating establishment, right? Right. We keep it spotless by using modern, up-to-date cleaning methods, right? Yeah. Windows are no exception. To start off with, you need a bucket of cleaning solution, a bucket of clean rinse water, a squeegee with a long handle attachment, and three dry towels. Two buckets, one of clean rinse water, one of cleaning solution, a squeegee, well, that's that funny rubber thing. Yeah, that, that funny rubber thing. Okay. And a long handle attachment and three dry towels. That's it. Now get your act together and clean the windows. Okay, I got it. Now what? Oh, uh, I forgot. You're a college boy. Here, let me show you. Let's see. Uh, this is a towel. I take it and put it in cleaning solution. You follow? Yeah, but go slowly. Then I wash the top half of the window real good, making sure I get the corners and the edges. Then you put the towel in rinse water, and you rinse the top half of the window completely. Are you with me? Yeah, it's an effort, but I think I'm getting it. Oh, I got great faith in you, college boy. Now, you start at the left side of the window with the squeegee, you press down with one side of the squeegee so that about two inches of rubber touch the glass. Uh-huh. And you bring it down to the halfway point in one smooth stroke. Now, at the end of the stroke, you take the third dry towel and you wipe the squeegee dry. Uh, am I going too fast for you? Uh, I think I'm following you. I'm impressed. Then you squeegee off the rest, starting at the top and going from left to right. And now watch closely here. See that I stop about three inches from the edge. I bet you wonder why I do that. Yeah, I was just going to ask why you stopped about three inches from the right edge. So the water won't cause streaking later. Well, thank you for explaining that. I look out for my people, don't I? Now, after I wipe the squeegee off, I start the next stroke, making sure I don't miss anything. Then, when I finish to the halfway point, I take the squeegee, and I put it against the right edge and bring it down to get the edge water off. Now, guess what I'm going to do? Not the bottom half of the window. Hey, you'll be a great doctor. First, you wash the bottom half, and then you rinse it thoroughly. Hey, now watch closely, because I may ask questions. You have my full undivided attention. I appreciate that. You make a pass down the left edge. Then you wipe the squeegee and start across, just like before. You understand? Uh-huh. And you go across all the way to the bottom and do the edge again. Hey, brilliant. I work my way down, wiping the squeegee off each time, until I get to the bottom. Then I finish off by doing the right edge. There. There's still some water on the sill. Hey, funny you should mention that, because the next step is wiping the sill. You use the towel you use to wipe the squeegee, and you make sure all water and dust are removed from the sill. Now, you think you can do it? Well, uh, I don't know. I can see there's a lot to this, and I wouldn't want to do a bad job of it. Could you do just one more window to make sure I got it? I was afraid of that, college boy. Okay, I'll do one more. But first, a few tips. When you're washing the windows... Keep an eye out for cracks or breakage, and report to me if you see anything. You got that? Yeah. And when you're done, clean up all the equipment and put it away properly, okay? Okay. Now, before I get into this complex procedure a second time, any questions? No. Good. Hey, there is one question. I was wondering... Yeah? Well, we brought the long handle attachment out, and you haven't used it. Why did you bring it out if we don't need it? 
glad you asked that, Doctor. Now go to your study guide for the next step in your training.